Yo, everybody, it's your man, two grand. Yo, guys, I'm here going to show you guys some tips on hotkeys. Yes, hotkeys. I'm going to be showing you guys the hotkeys that I use personally to help me climb the diamond elo. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, just to show you guys, I am diamond elo. I'm just going to show you guys clearly right over here it shows diamond this is my account way too humble that's me just way too humble sometimes just sometimes you know you know we're just so blessed to have wonderful people you know in our league of legends games so just 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 wanted to let them know that sometimes we are just too humble to have them you know on our team so hey guys other than that let's get into it let's dive deep i'm going to show you guys and let's have some fun now i think the first thing that's important is hand placement hand placement is very important um, I think, let's see, see how I can do this real quick. Go down, around, okay. How I play league is with three fingers. My thumb's always on the space bar. Um, I have Q, W, E, and then my pinky's always on the shift key. Um, what happens here is it helps me level up faster. It helps me play the game better, like, because your R key is never important. Like, it, it, it's important when you hit level 6, but you don't use it that much. So, I always... Your main skills are always QWE. So, I make sure... And leveling up. So, I'll show you guys a little bit more. But right now, that's how I play League. I know a lot of people play with four fingers. QWER. And they go like this. And then they drop their pinky all the way down. That's just... I feel like that's a time consumer. There's no reason to be doing that. That's just a waste of time. So, what I do is I play it like this... Always have my pinky on the shift key. Always have QWER and then space bar to bring my character back to me or my camera back to me. That's a really good way to play and it's really effective for me. All right. Let's get it going now. So. Ooh. Let's go back. Now we're going to go to keys. We're going to restart hotkeys. Restore, no, we're going to keep video stored, uh, everything normal there. Well, we kind of already did it. Restore this, restore this. We're just going to restore the whole thing so I can show you guys what I do. Okay? All right. Now, we just restored everything. Let's go to hotkeys first. Hotkeys. Some people have normal cast. I do not recommend normal cast at all. Normal cast, I feel like, is hindering your actual potential. It's not that good because what happens is what you literally are wasting time. You're wasting time lining it up and do it. Just have some faith in yourself, man. I got faith in you. Have some faith in yourself. You can literally do this. Like, just, I would not do it because it's point click. I quick cast all, re get rid of this, and you literally just have some confidence. Quick cast it every time, you know? You don't need to line up every spell. You don't need to. I, I believe in you. You can handle it. If you want to become a better player, you want to use it to climb, I re I recommend switching everything to quick cast. Oh, but some players use you. Yeah, but have some faith in you, man. I do. Like, you can do it. All right. So, next one is going down to uh, abilities. And this is where my pinky thing comes into play. So, leveling up your skill, I switch that to Q, W, E, R. You know, it's everything shift. It's just leveling up. So... You know, I skipped almost everything here. Everything here is practically normal. Normal, 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 normal. You know. Now, if Jace's uh, acceleration gate could self-cast, that would be amazing. I would just do that. Because, like, his gate would always be on top of him. And that's what you would want. And then we switch this. Target champions only. This we're going to go a little bit deeper into uh, later on. But I switch this to my mouse button. I have a mouse button that's on the side, and I use this a lot. I recommend you guys doing it, too. This is such an important key that nobody, like, uses, and it blows my mind. Okay? Now, after this, as I said, this was the first set of additional hotkeys. All we did was switch in the level up, and then we switched into the uh, target champions only. We're going to go to player movement. Player movement, player move click, and we go player attack move. We switch that. To a this helps me out because I'm I I'm main Jace so I have a range form and I like to kite and like usually like I have the hypercharge that gives me a uh, quick attack speed 
So I use that to my advantage with this A. You guys will see it a little bit later into the stream. All right? And that's it for hotkeys. That's all I do for hotkeys. I don't do anything more. So when we level up, you know, we're in a big fight. We're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting this guy. Oh, no, oh, no, what's going to happen? You know, we level up. We do that quick level up, and then we go boom, boom. You know, like, literally, like, it's just so quick. You're like, what? You just leveled up as E? I thought he was level 1. What happened? Like, look at all that damage. You know, we go again. You know, we're fighting this guy. We're fighting this guy. We do another level up. We get the W. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait. You see that? We just did everything. You know, it's, it's just quick. You know, you, you do a quick level up. My mouse doesn't have to hit it. I'm just consistently, like, doing stuff. Like, it's, it's just like, I don't need to have my finger on the R. It just wastes time bringing it down to auto attack. All right, so let's do it one more time. We're going to level up, though. You know, it's just, if you're fighting somebody, I recommend it. You know, like, playing with my three-finger method. Like, I'm, I'm letting you guys know, because I know a lot of people that play with four, and I just really do feel like it's hindering your guys' gameplay. Alright, and now the A thing comes to right here, guys. So, the player attack move, this is where it comes important. You guys see how I don't have to click on this guy? This is where it lets me move, like, when I do my hypercharge, which gives me full attack speed. So, I know this guy's right here. I know it's right there. And... Oh, I should probably... There we go. And, like, look at that. I'm just always attacking and moving. And I don't need to click on the guy. Like, that's the most important. And you can go backwards with it, you know? So, like, you got to kite backwards. You're like, oh, no. Bam. Just like that. Boom. You know, you can consistently move. It helps you kite as an ADC player. You know, just so much. You know, you're just consistently moving. It always just lets you go, let you go. All right, boys. So now we go to video settings. Your video settings, I recommend I recommend playing colorblind mode. Colorblind mode is really good because you don't lose track of yourself in a team fight. Um, and then I put all my settings on low because I like to have good FPS. This game already eats up your FPS for some reason. I have no idea. And I always try to cap my FPS. That's it. I like capping FPS so it doesn't go up and down, fluctuate a lot. It kind of just stays there. Alright. So colorblind mode, I'm always yellow. I know in a team fight, I'm always yellow. So it's really good. Like if a team fight breaks out and you lose track of your character, you now know where you are because of your, you got the yellow border over your head. You know? So it's really good. Sound. Oh man, sound. We turn master volume down. We turn the music down. Announcer voice down. Uh, voice volumes go down. Like, announcer voice, we kind of leave up because I like it when my teammates get a pentakill. I'm like, yeah, good job. That, and then pings go down. Now, the only reason why we have sound effects are high because that's the most important. You got to be able to hear the cyan ult. You got to be able to hear the mouth fight, you know, uh, the, or the cast, you know, uh, sounds. You got to be able to hear these sounds. Uh, that's how you can juke all these spells and whatever. If you hear the... The anim like you sometimes you hear the sounds before the animation, I guess is what I'm saying. And what happens is hearing it, you can flash the plays. You can know, okay, I gotta walk to a wall, I gotta do this, you know, and you can do stuff, you know. So that's why I always have this higher than anything else, because it's the most important thing. And music, you don't need music. You got your own music playing in the background. Turn that shit down. Alright? Interface. We go on the interface now. Cursor. I always have my cursor at 60. I like a big, big uh cursor bigger the better i always say um legacy cursor is really good if you guys are from cz2 which i am but for some reason i'm kind of grown onto this one now like i used to um like a uh, legacy cursor a thousand times more but this one's working just as good now um always show your spell cost so we started from cursor we're going down we got legacy cursor right there uh always show spell cost cost right here uh, you can do minutes and seconds. There's a bunch of different things. I just do seconds. It's easier. It's just one number. All right. Make sure your show neutral camps are up. And there is a little trick. If you guys played StarCraft and you're like, you, you're having trouble, look at the minimap to the right. You guys can go on lefty mode. Lefty mode brings everything to the left. It swaps it. So it helps out a lot for you guys that played StarCraft because the map's always on the left side of StarCraft. So this is like for you guys right here. All right. And then we have 
you know, your chat. I always recommend turning chat off. You do not need to listen to what your teammates are saying. They're so annoying. All your teammates do is complain, 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 complain. I recommend never having this on. But if you have a good mental and you can deal with it, turn it on and just use it for timing flashes. Use it for like being a good team player. Do not just use it for rage. You know, don't be one of those people that are like, oh my God, you suck. You suck. I hate you. You, you know, if you played a little bit better, we win this game. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just try to be positive. Try to be, you know, like, listen, we're all in this game together. It sucks. We all hate it. We know like, yo, you're going to get bad teammates. Listen, everybody does. I do in Diamond Elo. People do in Grandmaster. People do in Challenger. It doesn't matter what Elo. You're going to get bad players. I mean, we all seen from, you know, Tyler 1's stream. Uh, uh, everybody else's stream. Like, we all seen it. Oh, my gosh. So, that that's what I recommend is making sure to turn that off. Um, we got Mana, Heal. You want to have this all on. Because what happens is you want to know how much um, experience you need from... Um, Getting to, you know, uh, level 4, level 5, level 6, you know. Especially playing Jace, I'm like looking at my melee. Okay, I got 30 experience off of this. Okay, I'm at 29. One more melee creep. I can power level, go all in, and then I'll be like, I can do it. You know, I can kill this guy. Uh, that's about it for that. Now this, I have my mouse speed always at 70. I'm a Jace player. So what happens is I need to make sure that I can snap my acceleration gate back to me as soon as possible. So I like I always have it at 70. I, I got a Q, bring it back, Q, bring it back, Q, bring it back. It's really tough for me, but it, it, it works really well. And then we're going back to this target champions only. This is so important. So important. Alright, guys. So let's do this and I'll do a quick run through now. Alright, boys. Well, sorry about that. Yo, listen here. We had a bug where uh my minions weren't spawning. I've never had that happen to me. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what I was talking about this um, attack champions only. Alright. So this attack champions only key is activated. That means I can't click on any of these creeps right here. This is why it's so important because in a team fight, like in a little skirmish, like say like uh, your buddy's like trying to dive, a jungler's trying to dive or something like that. You know, you can actually only target this dummy because you have target champions only, you know. I can't target anything else. So we're going to knock the dummy out over here. And uh, the creeps in here. I can't click on the creep at all. Like, look at I'm not clicking on at all. It really helps more for a tower dive, too. I'll show you guys on the tower dive. Let's uh, make sure we're not taking any more damage to towers. Uh, wait, can I, like, auto-refresh HP? All right, cool. So, like... You know, sometimes we're like, they're right here in a weird spot. I could have just like, whatever. We'll just spawn a new dummy. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Because, <laughs> uh, but uh, sometimes they're behind um, the tower and it's like really hard to hit them right here. Like, you're like, oh, I just huddled the tower. Well, when you have target champions only, you're not, um, you can't target the tower either. So it makes it really good. Like, if they're in a weird spot, you can. You can still just auto them only. It's really important. Nobody uses this hotkey that I've, like, met in the past. And I just think it's such a good hotkey. You know, like, look, look at I'm autoing the person, not the tower right there. Like, it helps in Baron Pit. It helps in so much. So, if you guys want to climb, I recommend using it. Again, I'll show you again. You go, make sure, go to your player movement. Oh no, abilities and spells right here. It's this key right here. Toggle it to whatever key. Like, as I said, I have it on my mouse button. It's really important to have it. And then you go to a toggle. You make sure it's a toggle so you can turn it on and off. So now I turned it off. I can target the creeps. Oh, but hold on. I want to target the minions. Like, it's just like that. I want to be able to target creeps right here. Okay. Now I want to be able to target this guy. You know, I'm out. Sweet. Now, um, back to uh, the hotkey player attack movement. Player movement, this A key. You guys were wondering probably like, how are you attacking this minion without um, 
without uh clicking on it like what what is going on here well i'll show you guys something right here we spawn another minion right here you can use the a key my a key to attack whatever but there's a there's also a downside to it all right so the downside is like it attacks whatever's closest to where you click so you always want to like click by the dummy like if you're not clicking on it you're gonna get punished a hundred percent of the time but like it helps you like if you just like need to get the movement but if you click like if i click a right here i'm gonna attack that you know i'm not gonna attack the dummy because it's attacking the closest thing which is this but if i click over here i'm attacking that a hundred times you know because that's the closest thing to that target but if we go right here it's gonna attack these creeps so you gotta make sure you're like not like in range of like the other creeps so right here we're gonna attack the minion yep and you just want to make sure, like, you're being safe with this. But it just helps out so much. Because I clicked right there. It just keeps giving you movement. It works really good for an ADC. You know? So make sure, guys, you know, as I said, try your feet, three fingers. Make sure you got attack uh, champions only on. And... I hope you guys, you know, improve. I really do. I hope this guy says have helped you guys out a lot. Quick cast, you know, game, colorblind mode, lefty mode, whatever you guys use. I hope that I did improve your guys' gameplay a little bit. Just even a little bit, you know. And I thank you guys so much for watching this. And good luck on the rift, guys. Thank you. Take it easy. Peace.